Hello everyone, so I just installed Betaflight 4.2 on my quad and I wanted to give my first impressions of Betaflight 4.2. So I haven't flown this quad on 4.2 at all and everything is completely stock. The only thing that I've done is I've made sure that bi-directional D-Shot is working so that the RPM filter is working. But other than that, everything is the default settings. So if you wanna know what setup I'm running, all of the components are in the description and one thing to note is that both my motors and flight controller are soft mounted so let's go ahead and see how 4.2 performs these are my rates of default pids default everything except rpm filter oh it's sluggish <laughs> it's sluggish Yeah, it's very sluggish. We default everything. We got all the garbage in there. Feed forward. Oh. Anti-gravity, I-term relax, demon, throttle boost. So, fully set up to fly, to make a potato quad fly, okay. Used to it. Let's test the bounce back. Ooh, no bounce back. It's a little, bo it's a little weeble wobbly. Yeah. Oh yeah. My God, that's like crazy wobbly at zero throttle. So it needs more eye probably. Very smooth, but it like has really low. Huh. At low throttle. Yeah, descending at low throttle. That's that's uh, what happens when you don't have enough eye. Wobbles like that. Or it could be one of the weird dynamic things. Yeah, not locked in. No bounce back. Not locked in though. Let's test prop wash. Prop wash isn't bad. Here's a video. Also to you. Yeah, these bobbles are bad at low throttle. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh my god, it's like at low speed, it's terrible. Just like it bobbling all over the place. Yeah, and then on the quick sub, it just doesn't have that pop. I'm surprised because with the feed forward, all that feed forward, I would have thought it would be more snappy. Also, there's stick smoothing though, is on by default. So that doesn't help responsiveness at all. It just makes you look like you're better. And it helps all the weird dynamic changing stuff from going nuts. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I have like no control. Oh. I'm pulling a U for the sake of the video. Yeah. I think I have a loose prop. 
No, no, I don't think so. All right, let's finish up this pack. Let's see if we can get those baubles going again. Oh my god, it's so bad. What even is that? It's only in during descent. Yeah, you had that too. Were you on 4.2? No. Okay. Okay, so there you go. That was my very first battery. My overall impressions were that it actually flew pretty poorly. So there was a lot of bobbling while descending at low throttle, which I think is an I-term tuning issue. And it was actually surprisingly sluggish. I thought it was gonna be a lot more responsive with all the feed forward that is dialed in by default, but that was not the case. So I don't think this means that 4.2 is terrible. I just think that I have to do some tuning Maybe in the next video, I will go over how I set up Betaflight to make it a lot more responsive and fly a lot better. And I already have a PID tuning tutorial on the channel if you are interested in that, because that makes a huge difference in how your quad flies as well. So let me know in the comments if you want to see that video. Please like this video if you liked it, and please get subscribed if you enjoy this content and to support the channel, because 84% of you guys watching this right now are not subscribed, so please do get subscribed. Thanks for watching. Thank you.